I made a height of cut kit for my Luba robotic lawnmower. Many people have seen it, many people have asked, where can I get one? How do I get one? Well, good news, you're finding out today. And how much are they? Well, I'm giving it away for free. Sort of. Okay, before we get into everything else on where to get them, what it costs if you do not own a 3D printer, any of that stuff, I do need to make this very, very clear, extremely clear. These are not in any way endorsed, sponsored, approved of, designed, or anything like that by Momotion. This is something I came up with, I created, I made. They haven't told me no, but then I haven't explicitly asked permission to do this. So take it as a word of caution. If you do print these or have me print them for you, you do run the risk of voiding the warranty on your robotic lawnmower. And that's just um, a price we have to kind of pay, a risk we need to take and determine um, if we want to do that you know it's all up to you but no that out of the way let's get into it now we're going to show you how to install it and what various options you have to get things going you're going to need a three millimeter allen key you can use a t-handle i have it on a screwdriver you have your spacers and then longer screws the screws that come with the luba are an M3 and they're about seven millimeters long. You'll need to get screws long enough for the original seven millimeters. Also then long enough to accommodate the 10 millimeter thickness. Okay, to begin the install, first thing, once you have the Luba up, make sure you take this fuse out. You don't want it inadvertently turning on and cutting you up. The built-in safety features will prevent that, but better safe than sorry. Now we just begin uninstalling here with the three millimeter these screws do have blue loctite on them i'm not putting any additional loctite on there um, when i did my initial testing i found really no need for it whatsoever we'll remove the second unit as well and this would also be a good time if you haven't rotated your blades when you go to install this or swapped out blades to go ahead and accomplish that while you're doing this since you have it up and you're working on it now will also be a great time to show you see here's these guards there are these screws here however they're also riveted in down here on the sides so you'd have to drill the rivets out to take these off but the guards do move along with the whole unit. So we're just simply removing the space in between the protective guard and where the blades would go. Now I do need to show you something. The design of this, there's a little chamfered edge in there and that's to fit around this little inner section here to where it slides over. I also simplifying things, these little locking tabs they don't really do anything. The screws will hold them in place, so that's why I have that channel. I could have made it thinner, but whatever. But what we want to do is line everything up, put it on the unit first. Let's go ahead and get at least one screw through first. We'll go ahead, we'll get this started with the first one. Just thread it in a couple times. This is really, really soft metal. Okay, got a couple threads in there. Be very careful as you're snugging these down. You do not want to strip them out. And then before you go, Just kind of spin it around. Make sure it's spinning, you know, that it's not wobbling. So we have the first one installed. Then the same thing. We line up the holes. Lined up. 
get our initial screw in. Again, just a couple threads to get it started. Spin test again. With the Height of Cut Kit installed now, let's get on to our first initial mo. Now keep in mind, since this is not a licensed or official product from Momotion, nothing changes within the app itself. If your Height of Cut is set at 30 millimeters with this kit installed, it is actually 20 millimeters. So just remember that so you don't mess anything up. Now if your Bermuda Lawn is a hybrid or very well maintained common, you're going to run into this problem, and that is if you take it from the 30 millimeter that the lowest it could go directly to 20, you are possibly going to run into some motor overload errors. That happened to me. To get around that, you have two options. You can do a 25 millimeter cut, then do a 20 millimeter cut, or the option I took originally, and this was due to the unevenness of my lawn, was to actually just take my reel mower and do a scalp, and then we were good to go after that. So I have the app set up. It's set at 35 millimeters, which means 25 millimeters for what I'm going to be cutting, and we're just gonna cut it in a normal pattern. Also keep in mind, if you do have any schedules set in the app to go ahead and adjust each of those to the new height of cut. If you're able to just keep it at 20, you can keep it 30. But if you do need to go into that 25 millimeter range, make sure you change the setting to 35 millimeters so you don't mess anything up. So the biggest thing now is where do you get this? Where can you get your hands on these? Well, at the beginning you notice I said, it's free, but well, sort of. I have the STL for the five millimeter and 10 millimeter spacers. They're published on Thingiverse. You can search for it and find it, or you can just go down below into the description and get it there. I have the link set to my link tree, and the reason for that kind of comes into the sort of option, or at least the first part of it. Um, if you kind of feel, you know, generous, you wanna give back to the creative process on this, there's some other options. Um, down in there that you can use. And if you don't have a 3D printer, but you're thinking, oh man, I'd really like one of those. I haven't bought anything yet lately to piss off the wife. Well, you can go ahead and uh, pick up one of those from Comgrow down there. That's where I bought mine from. It was a factory refurb and it's been rock solid um, since I bought it, minus some upgrades. But yeah, the link's down in there, check it out. Now, here's the last bit. If you don't have a 3D printer, you don't really have a desire to get one, but you want one of these, well, there's going to be a Google form down below. Simply fill that information out. And all I'm pretty much asking for is cost of shipping. It's gonna be shipped USPS, you know, plus some time, materials, and it's gonna be probably about 20 bucks for a set. It will just be the spacers. It will not come with the screws. But if you're interested in that, do the Google form, that way I'll be contacted. These will be printed in PET G. What I have in here right now is PLA Plus. They work pretty good, but if they bind up, they do have the tendency to melt. So PET G has better temperature resistance ratings. And there we go, the Luba Haida Cut Kit. Free to download from Thingiverse under a Creative Commons non-commercial license. So have at it. Um, any questions on it, drop them below if you need me to print them. Again, fill out the form with the link below. We'll get that taken care of. So there we go, it's Mike, real low debt. Hope you all enjoy the Luba Haida Cut Kit. Interested to see how it works out for you. So uh, please, you know, drop comments down below after you try this out. Share it on the various social media platforms. Uh, it's gonna be really, really cool. So until then, we'll see y'all later.